Hello and welcome back to Cracksoid. In my previous video, I conducted an experiment to check whether the data backup app works after changing the custom room. So the experiment was successful as the data backup app restored all the application along with their data even after changing the custom room. So in this video, I'll be conducting similar experiment but with another popular application called Swift Backup. Many people out there rely on Swift Backup for their backups and restore needs. So today in this video, I'll experiment with this app to see if it can restore apps with their data and other elements after switching to a custom room. So let's get started. To use the Swift Backup app, your phone needs to be rooted. I have already rooted my phone using the Magisk app, but you can also use the kernel as you method. If you are unsure about how to root your phone, then you can find the video link in the description section below. Swift Backup is available on the Play Store and requires root permission, so grant super user permission to it. Now let's explore the Swift Backup app. The main interface displays several options. First, I'll back up some apps by tapping on the app section. I'll select all the apps and choose to back up their data as well. Swift Backup will request super user permission again, which I'll grant, and the backup process will begin. In less than a minute, it will be completed. Besides app backup, this app also offers options to backup messages, call logs, wallpapers, and Wi-Fi network setting. The Wi-Fi network backup feature was not available in the previous data backup app, so I'll give it a try. It will backup the currently connected Wi-Fi network and any previously connected networks too. This process is quick and won't take much time. So next, I'll install AirOS on my phone, which is based on Android 13. Currently, my phone is also running Android 13. I'll fast forward the ROM installation process, but you can watch the full installation process in the video description below. After installing AirOS and rooting it with Magisk, my phone is now ready for Swift Backup. Upon opening the Swift Backup app, we are back on the dashboard. First, I'll attempt to restore the apps and see what happens. I'll tap on the app section, select all the apps and restore them along with their data. The restoring process will take about a minute to complete. Now I want to test these restore apps but it requires an internet connection. Since I have also backed up Wi-Fi networks, I'll go back to the Swift backup app, access the Wi-Fi network section and tap on the restore button to restore all the Wi-Fi networks. After completing the restoring process, it takes a moment to reconnect to the Wi-Fi, but eventually it successfully connects. Now that we have restored our network, let's check the condition of the restored apps. I'll start by opening the WhatsApp app, which opens without requiring me to enter my phone number and OTP. Similarly, I'll test the Telegram app, which also opens smoothly without asking for login or OTP. It does ask for notification permission, which is similar to what the data backup app did with the Telegram app. Finally, I'll check by opening the Facebook app. And as you can see, it opens without needing my ID and password. So in conclusion, Swift backup works flawlessly, allowing you to backup and restore applications with their data and other elements, even after changing custom rooms. I'd like to clarify one thing. If you need to format your phone, make sure to store your backup folder on the micro SD card or other secondary storage. When you want to restore your data, paste the folder back into the internal storage and locate its previous location. So that's it for today's video. And if you liked our video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and share this video. And also subscribe to Cracksoid YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.